What is up? I'm going to show you how to give a container a background image so that you can still give it a child that will be ahead of the background like so. Here we have a container whose child is this text right here and then you have the image as a background just like if you had given a container a color except instead you give it an image. So if you want to learn just how to do that, watch this video until the very end. So here we are with the cool text over the background and right now the background is just a red color and let's remove that right now because we're going to access the decoration property and as you should know by now you can't have the color property being used if you also use the decoration property. So we got the box decoration going on and then the box decoration has a really helpful property for what we're trying to achieve here which is the image property right here and what this takes is the decoration image class. So this is all pretty simple. And by the way, if you don't know how to add an image to your project and then add it to pubstack.yaml, just go ahead and click the video on the top right to learn how to do that. But back to our little image project right here. As you can see, the decoration image, if I hold the mouse over this, it will show you that the parameter image is required. So once again, we have the parameter image to use. And this takes, as you saw, an image provider object image. So basically, you can just do this asset image and then you just give it the path to your image. In our case, the folder images has the background.jpg file. So all we got to do is say images background.jpg and this is literally it. If I save it, it's going to work already. But like this, it doesn't really adapt to your container. For example, if I come over here and I change this to 650 height and I hit the save button, nothing really changes. And the width, if I do 300, then the image changes. But I had to increase the width in order for the image to change. While if I increase the height, it didn't change. And the thing is, if I come over here and I bring the height back to 350 and I hit the save button, now as you can see, the text is even overflowing outside of the background. In fact, if I come over here and I do colors.red, you will see that the image is not occupying the entirety of the container. And that's most likely not what you want at all. So what you do is you also use the fit property and you do box fit dot cover. And now if I hit the save button, we will no longer see the red color and I removed it, but I'll just add it back again just to confirm that you can see it. And now if we go back to our initial example with the 200 in width and we go to 650 in height, you will see that the image always adapts to where the size of the container is. So I can just be like 250 and then here 600 and it always adapts and it doesn't stretch out the image. And this is exactly how you want a background image to behave. So this is about it. I will also leave a video on the top right right now to learn more about how to resize an image to fit its parents. But that's about it for this one. And if it helped you in any way, please leave me a like. And if you want to keep on learning about Flutter, of course, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Flutter Mentor and out.